Throughout this course, we will present to you a series of short videos on how to read the data sheet. Because this class deals with input and output, in this first video, we'll show you how to look up I.O. pins. One of the convenient ways to search the data sheet is to use the table of contents. So let's go to chapter 10, which has information about the general purpose I.O. pins. All right. So I'm going to click right here, and now we're in chapter 10. So what we find here in this page is description of the fact that there are 43 GPIO pins on our microcontroller, and they're called ports, and there's port A, B, C, D, E, and F. So one of the questions we might ask is, what's a pin? So we go back to the table of contents and look for information on pins. And we'll find it in chapter 22. There it is, chapter uh, 22. It, it should have the pin diagram. So we click on that. All right, so here in chapter 22, we see the pin diagram. And here's a picture of our microcontroller. And so we can identify the pins here. In our, one of our first labs, we have these pins, PF1, 2, and 3 are going to be outputs, and PF0 and PF4 are going to be inputs. So the answer to the question is, a pin is an actual signal connected to the microcontroller with which we are going to do our input and output. And this is the actual physical layout at the chip level. Yep.